Hey y'all, let me show y'all what I got from the Dollar Tree real quick. <sighs> and I guess I do have the heat kind of on blast. And I'm gonna head to my other contract. I'm just trying to kill some time, honestly. So I got these gloves. These are my favorite colors. I know it's about to be summertime, but I figured I'll get both. One for my car for like, I guess when I pump gas and stuff like that. And then one for walking Blair. So I just opened these. And if you get these type of gloves from Dollar Tree, don't pull it out like you regular, like regular, like pull out that little piece. Hey, VP, how are you? Get a like knife or something and cut it or you're going to, you're going to damage them a little bit, but they were a dollar. So I'm going to get my dollar's worth of wear out of both of these. Hey, AKA James Money. And then also they'll shed from messing up. My two favorite colors, boom, boom, boom. So in my kitchen, I got the, uh, hey, TTT. -t -t. Hey, TTT, geez Louise. I saw him in Lake TT. In my kitchen, I had the little scrub brush that you put the liquid detergent in, you scrub. But just yesterday when I was cooking, I realized I need some rags. Now, these rags are probably not going to be a great idea, idea to wash with because these are like what you will wipe down leather or dust with. But I think I'll like these. Um, one of my clients, I realized have a lot of carpet throughout the contract and I'm trying to figure out, I got this for one of my clients and then I went to go clean ones and it was just like, dang, I could have gotten the same thing for them as well. Hey, house of bling. How are you? So this is for one of my contracts, the contract that I'm headed to, I just went ahead and stopped and got a cheap little push firm, little push mop. Now, for one of my contracts, I have this already, and I really like the the quality of it. Cheap and expensive, and get the job down, done. That contract that I got this far already is super small. So, that's why this is perfect for it. This contract I'm going to is bigger, but I ain't feel like going back home. So, little dust cloth. I like these. Like I said, it's just for my clients, so I'm not trying to get expensive things, because a lot of my stuff I leave at Hey, Charles, how are you? I leave it at my client's location. So, you know, the vacuum cleaner, I have an expensive vacuum cleaner, but the one I want for most of my clients, I probably wouldn't leave there because I think it costs like two or $300. And that's not something I'm going to leave there. Even though I leave my other expensive one there. I don't think anyone is steal it, but you know the little shark, the little shark vacuum cleaners, it's just, it's like, portable one of those i want those for my contracts because or that one for my contracts because it's easier than that backpack y'all seen me with so boom got the gloves for the pump and walking blair showed y'all just some little i like white you though these are going to look so gross after a while but yeah i know i'm not going like getting white i probably should have got pastel then i got this for those of you that's just coming in for one of my contracts oh i got these thank you cards um because i'm going to do a little side hustle contract um basically i guess they say a friend of mine sent me a contract um they wanted me to come do a COVID spray so i went and i sprayed for COVID in their home and did like a deep clean so woo! it was an older lady's house who died from who passed away from COVID. And the family wanted to have a gathering there um, and just, you know, clean it. So we sprayed for COVID. We did a deep clean, meaning baseboards, when the outside window sills. This was an older person house, so the house was pretty much completely covered in grease. Um, so that made cleaning a little bit harder because that mean like the walls were really greasy and then the dirt or not dirt per se, but... Um, dust and everything stuck to that um the house was clean it's just it was greasy because it was a smaller house and they cook, cook with grease so they want me to come back and pack up the belongings of the lady who passed away so i just have some thank you cards on deck because i left mine at home i have a contract today i haven't had one since december i'ma feel it what type of contract tt um 
I don't know who did this to this phone case, but remind you the phone case that um that someone gifted to me was too big because I didn't know what type of phone I had. So I went ahead and got just a little cheap one just so and then like a little screen protector just so you know I can stop you know the phone can stop sliding so much. I used to do banks and urgent care clinics. I never thought about urgent care clinics. A lot of people do bank. Well, not a lot of people, but I do see people doing the banks. Um, I was offered. So I'm going back. I'm doing an independent contract with a university. Um, that's like an hour and some change away from me. Um, that's why I'll start doing next week. So my schedule about to be packed, right? But they did offer for me to help the owner. It's just so many people. Uh, okay, so someone needed help cleaning banks. And I wouldn't mind, like, helping out. But I don't think banks pay that much, honestly. I guess because you literally only going in there and changing the trash. Probably why they don't. I saw them in Lake and Clark. Um, probably why they don't pay a lot. But I don't have any banks as far as contracts. Um, I wouldn't mind snagging a few because that's, you know, guaranteed income. And it, it should be easy. Maybe wiping doors, changing trash, and wiping down the surfaces. That's it. But when you do commercial cleaning, that's all you really do anyway. What is going on over there? Because did I say clearance? What is that? Well, I got these because I'm be honest. Coyote, how are you doing? I'm going to be honest. I have not been flossing the way I'm supposed to, which is twice a day since I got my braces. Because how, what they gave me was the little, it looked like a plastic long needle that you would thread with, you know, like thread a shirt. It looks just like that, but it's plastic, and you thread. It is threading, basically, but it's just for your teeth. You put regular floss in between you. You thread it between your gums, and you, you tr it's, it's just too much. So I haven't been flossed. I'm going to be honest with y'all. So I'm probably plaque the hell up, even though my hygienist, dental hygienist said, like, my um my plaque wasn't bad or anything. But um, so I got these. I'm going to give these a try. I got... I have little smaller ones that I carry, but ugh, I need to clean those. I'm going to try this uh, toothpaste. Sometimes it's a little hard finding toothpaste because all just about all the toothpastes, this Dollar Tree had a very good selection. I had like up to four different selections that did not say whitening. Because even like the sensitive toothpaste, yo, if you hit my car, like how far are you trying to pull in? Just let me know. Anywho, what was I saying? Oh, even a sensitive toothpaste that I'm trying from Dollar Tree because I refuse to buy that. That's when it's not from Dollar Tree because it's so expensive for a sensitive toothpaste. All of it says whitening, so I think I'm gonna try this deep clean. Um, oh, well, the back of it says whiten teeth, all of them say whitening. So they told me to get toothpaste that don't say whitening. Of, of course, I guess you don't want to be whitening your teeth around where your braces are. But all of them literally say whitening. Uh, da, 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 da. Saying hi to everyone. Boom, boom, boom. Make sure if you don't have each other that you're connecting with each other. So Dollar Tree normally have Dove, like these little skinny Doves. But they normally have the pink kind. Don't get me wrong, I like the pink kind, but for how, like, first of all, I clean, and then when I'm at Starbucks, I wash my hands every time they get sticky, because I don't like sticky hands, so that's 30 minutes and or less than 30 minutes, I'm washing my hands, so my hands are really, really dry. I got this one for a dollar and some change from Big Lots, but Dollar Tree normally carries the pink version of this, which is what I was looking for, and I was just going to add my... Add a lot of rejuvenate oil. So as you all know, the little side hustle, da, 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 that's really not a hustle. I just like to spend money with them at this point. Um, I put this in my lotions because it adds moisture. Now, the last time I did that with the pink one, the only problem was I didn't add a lot of that. So the pink one isn't, this one is intensive care cream. This is amazing. I couldn't find the pink version of this in there. So, what I got, and it took me forever, was I'm going to try this Oddly Smooth. And I'm going to try some cocoa butter on um, Vaseline, for real. 
we gonna see how this go i just my hands have been horrible now i've tried on so much lotion there out of all the lotion they have a a travel size of jenkins like this and the jenkins felt good for real but i need a cream like how dry my hands are i don't need lotion i would need a really good oil but you know dollar tree like there um they have some baby oil jelly so i like to use the baby oil jelly but the dollar tree version is way too like watery it's it don't even feel absorbent hey prince welcome in so yeah dove products are nice um especially like this right here oh this is amazing oh my gosh and then not to mention i carry a fanny pack most of the time while i'm cleaning this is so easy just to slip in and to slip out like after i wash my hands i can take this up out of my fanny pack put it on my hands and then put on my gloves so i haven't been wearing gloves as much like constantly so when i was working for this this uh university before this contract with this university before my hands were really, really smooth because I was always in gloves. I've primarily been working at Starbucks, which, as you know, I could wear gloves, but honestly, I haven't. But I probably will start wearing gloves, honestly, because of how dry my hands have been getting. This actually feels good. And the fact that the um, the instructions say like that you can put it on and you're not going to leave a residence, a residue um, on your phone, keyboard, or wardrobe. So it's like it's, it doesn't have that greasy residue that most things have, like, this will have so i think that's everything i got i'm gonna put these two on i'm gonna head to this contract and sit in a parking lot thank you lucia for sharing out my life i gotta go get blair today guys blair they said i can pick her up after 10 now i wasn't expecting to still be trying to kill time i was hoping that i could go pack up these these people house real quick um, oh, that sounds so much, but I hate when this makes that noise. I was hoping I could go pack up these people's house and then go to my last contract, but the lady honestly been pushing it off since, like, February because, like, of her work and everything. And then, like, I'm not about to come all the way to Greenville on a day that I don't already come to Greenville. So I come to Greenville on Wednesday and Friday. And I was going to do it Monday, but I thought to myself, like, why am I making an extra trip to Greenville? So, I'm going to head to my, probably, I should probably head to my contract and sit outside my contract until 12. And then do pack that house afterwards. I'm drinking my energy drink so I can have some energy. Mm. I didn't have the orange juice. Not to mention, I haven't even touched my water. So that is that. Oh, it is a little hot. I do be having it hot in here. How is your day going, Raymond? Welcome, welcome in. Let me put on this belt. But I'm going to try to do this contract, like, real quick. It normally takes me about an hour and a half, two hours to do this contract by myself. Um, That's how long it normally takes me. I'm going to try to get it done within an hour an hour and a half i can't go in until about 12 because every friday they get off at 12 um which is why i like this contract and flexibility lucia welcome in thank you for sharing out the live you're awesome thank you so much and that the look that you did yesterday the look with the pink i love it i don't know i just I'm not even a pink person, but the pink definitely made your eyes pop. I wish I was in the makeup. I'm going to try to do a makeup video, y'all. It's going to be horrible. Or makeup live. And I'm going to, like, try to um, use, like, one of Lucia's looks as, like, an inspiration. Y'all going to be like, girl, what the fuck did you do to your face? Just stop. <laughs> you look like a clown. But, yeah. I was hoping that my day could be over by 2 o'clock, but with me not being able to do either one of those until 12 it's probably gonna push my day out to about three or four i'm not super excited about that not to mention i had to go get blair so as you want to know blair was spaded and um she's gonna be in a lot of pain they want me to make sure that she doesn't have any not like she's not active so she's definitely gonna have to be in her crate for like a whole 
which is it's not out of the ordinary for her to be in her crate, but on my day, and she actually have a park date on Sunday, but she's not going to be able to go because, you know, she got to freaking stay in her crate. And I don't want to let her out around the house either because she be, she'll run back and forth. So she already in her crate a lot, in my opinion, anyway, because of my work schedule. And then, like, for real, for real. I hope they give her, like, I know they're going to give her medicine. Hopefully, it keeps her knocked out. If not, I might, I'll ask them if it's okay if I go get, like, some Doug melatonin just so that she doesn't feel so neglected in that cage while she's healing. I found out I like watching people do their makeup on YouTube. It was therapeutic, LOL. For me, Lucille, when I watch y'all do y'all makeup, I just be like, damn, why can't I have the the wanting or the desire? Why can't I have the desire to be doled up? Like, I love glam stuff. Like, I love girls that's glamorous, and I love the girls that, like, wear the heels every day, and I love the girls that wear makeup and keep their hair done real nice. But in actuality, it's just like, girl, you love it, but that is not you. You are the most laziest probably the laziest female y'all will ever meet. The whole time I'm watching y'all do makeup, I'm like, how did you even know to do that? Like, it's a whole, like, makeup is a whole nother art. <laughs> like, and I just don't get it. Like, as y'all know, I'm a sketcher. So even when I'm trying to paint, it's like, maybe I just make it completely complicated, but I'm like, I don't, do I have to, you know, stroke the brush a certain way? Like, stroke it lightly, stroke it hard, it's just, I don't know, makeup is a different, like, art level, and I just put it on, I, normally when I do my makeup, I only do eyeliner and lip gloss, or like a lip liner, eyeliner, lip liner, I do the brush stuff on my eyebrow, I mean my um, eyelashes sometimes, and I definitely try to do my eyebrows, oh my god, but my eyebrows being thick, when I try to fill them in, they look bold and bigger, and it just look weird. You look like, why the fuck is your eyebrow so strong on your face? Like, that's, <laughs> that's what I look like. <laughs> yeah, I think, ooh, wait, that was something. If y'all don't have each other, connect with each other. I think, uh, yeah, I think you just want to, like, to get ready or glam. And the crazy thing about that, Lucia, all my friends that actually wear makeup, y'all skin be like so clear under your makeup. So like, I had this friend named Tiffany. I talk about her often when I talk about makeup because she was the first person that I've ever known to put on a full face of fucking makeup. The only person I've known. This was back in high school. I remember Tiffany would be late every single day, but I never knew why. Until one day, I must have been skipping class or something. I don't know how the hell I ended up out of class and on this end of, like, I went to all girls school and it was pretty damn big. I never, ever, ever, ever went to this one bathroom. But for some reason, this one day, my ass was not in class and I ended up in this one bathroom that I'd never go in and there was Tiffany. And come to find out, Tiffany was late every single day because she would go to that bathroom and do her full face of makeup and then go to class. What the fuck she was on there? How, I don't know if she was already late going to the bathroom or if she spent the entire like two periods in the bathroom or whatever. So I walked in and I seen Tiffany without makeup on. I'm like, Tiff, like, you know, key or whatever. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you know, your skin is beautiful. She was like, yeah, I know. And I was just like, well, damn nigga, I ain't know. You always, you know, wear all your makeup. I didn't know your, like her skin was glowy and flawless and like clear and just so beautiful like her skin and she's like well i wear makeup because i want to not because like i'm trying to cover something up and she was like everything that i do to my face or to my skin allows me to wear makeup um with having clear skin so she was like i do x y z on this day and then on this day i do this and then on that day i do that like you know she had a little, whole little skin routine as you all know Prior to the side business, I did not know about a skin damn routine, a self-care shit, none of that. 
until I started like trying to do these little side bits. Then I was like, oh, now it all makes sense. Cause I ain't never had a skincare routine. I would just put like water on my face and rub my face with rubbing alcohol, and that would be it. That was it. But y'all skin be amazing. Like so cute. Well, not cute, but like beautiful skin under it. It makes me think, you know how like weave is like a protective hairstyle? Maybe makeup is like a protective, you know, layer on your skin, especially if you have the good stuff. I get stuff from Dollar Tree because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> uh, see, and I can't paint or draw for shit. Just eyebrows, I love it. Girl, eyebrows is a whole nother level of art because eyebrows alone be stressing me the fuck out. One of them be over here, one of them be back here, one of them be arched up here, one of them be down here, one of them be like a smooth curve, that one would be like, oh, like, it's just too much. It's just too much. Mm -mm. And I know they be like, eyebrows aren't twins, they're cousins, but I know, fuck that shit, bitch. Like, I'm gonna need my shit to look somewhat the same, like, mm. That is something else. Give me one second. I'm going around this curve on this little street. Honestly, good makeup starts with great skincare. And once again, I would have never thought that until Tiffany, like, I can't remember what she did on what days, but I know it involved, you know, mask and exfoliating. When she said that to me in high school, I had to have been like a senior or junior at this point. That's probably why I wasn't in class. Even then, I could not comprehend what the fuck exfoliating and mask were. I literally, until last year when I started like dibbling, dabbling in this little side bits, I did not think about, you know, skin mask and, you know, little exfoliations and washing my face and putting on sunscreen and all this stuff. I didn't girl you you would have been talking to your face turned blue and i wouldn't have understood nothing so yes it definitely has to do with the skincare definitely no not rubbing oh is that bad because I, I still from time to time like when i'm rushing and i don't you know go through my whole skin line because I, I didn't got the other one for the be gentle i got the be gentle on the be balanced skin line now just to try them out i'm low-key been like I want to try that Fenty skin line, like, for sure, for sure. I, I, like, in my heart, I'm like, I really want the Fenty skin line because it's everything that I do now, but it's in three steps opposed to however many steps I have. But I didn't know rubbing alcohol was bad. I would pop that on my face every time I'm rushing, like, including this morning. I just went ahead, I patted my, you know, patted my face with some water. Like, you know, I'm thinking. I'm opening my skin, you know, my pores, brush my teeth real quick because I was behind. And I hit that bad boy with a pan and some rubbing alcohol on I was out. That was it. <laughs> Moisturizer and sunscreen are a must. And you want to know what's funny, Lucia? I actually did not know that I, as a black person, needed sunscreen on my face until two or three months ago when I got my facial. And that's when I had made that mistake. We may not have been following each other. And that's when I made the mistake. I thought she said that I need to put on sunscreen day and night. But, um, the lady who did my facial was just like, I hate when this change to make all that noise, I'm sorry. She was just like, your skin looks great, you're not clogged. The first time I went, I was a little cloggy. The second time I went, I ain't washed my face at all because I was going through something, I don't know. I just didn't really, like, as far as, like, my skin routine, I didn't. I still hit it with the alcohol, but washing it, I didn't do. And she was like, well, you don't have a problem with clogged skin, but make sure that you're wearing your sunscreen. I'm like, oh, I got to wear that? Okay. So, yeah, now that I know that, that's definitely, like, my next purchase is some sunscreen. What time is it? Oh, I got 30 more minutes. Or oh, a little under 30 minutes, so that's not bad. Moisturizer, definitely. And for my hands especially. Now, serums are expensive as crap. I don't care who you getting a serum from. It's expensive. Apparently, that's important too i guess kiwi do you have a p.o box no should i get a p.o box was apparently apparently my um my address is on my instagram on one of my stories but no i don't have a p.o box do you have a p.o box 
a lot of people on YouTube have a P.O. box. I wonder if that's something I should invest in pretty soon. I sing you a little something that way you can try it out. But even though you have great skin. Yeah, I don't mind. And I can send you some stuff too if you like. I love sending goodie bags now. Don't tell me you send good bags. Mess around. Have something in your P.O. box all the time. I love sending goodie bags, y'all. It's like my favorite thing. Y'all ask me what I do with my money. I'm always spending it on sending somebody something that I think they'll like. Especially if I come across it. Ooh, so they should be leaving out soon. I'm not going to use that bag for that's what I'm about to do. These big skills are getting legit. I don't. Someone told me to get one, lol. Yeah, I don't have one either. I mean, by the grace of God, I haven't come across any, like, creepy people popping up in my back patio or nothing like that. Um, I just, I don't know, I guess, out of all the expensive I have to pay for, it's like, do I, am I going to, is the P.O. box even going to be used that much? Probably not. And if you all don't have each other, connect with each other. Let me take this out. Someone was really trying to rip this. Like, they were really trying to rip the... Oh, the sun is blocking it. They were trying to rip this bad boy out of there. I meant to ask, like, since this is messed up, can it be 50 cents instead of a dollar? I know it's the Dollar Tree, but look what somebody done did to this. But I was in zone now somewhere. I feel you. Cause right now, yeah, I just don't I don't think so. When I get back on um Instagram, well you can DM me and I'll check it. I took Instagram and all that off my actual phone, but it's still on my iPad that I barely touch. If you wanna DM me on Instagram, we can exchange information. I can send you a goodie bag. I think that'd be dope. I sent, oh, uh, you may not follow Miss Gail, but I sent Miss Gail a goodie bag and she really enjoyed it. It had like some skincare stuff in it. So it was like moisturizer, cleanser, and then I'll see what else I have. I have some like some other stuff. Some people, if you're like interested in like the eye cream, then I can send the eye cream if you want. Um, it's some other stuff, but as far as skincare, I know for sure I have those. Um, I gave my clients, I did a goodie bag for my clients, and it was like a at-home spa day. And so what I did for them, it was a little bit different from the scales. I customized my my um, goodie bags for them. It had like the skincare, so I had like the cleanser, moisturizer, then it had like a rag, and then it had like a lavender incense, and it was like the information on what you actually put on your face. So like, if you wanted to look at the ingredients, I had that in there, um, but you know, everything that was made out of, and they really, really enjoyed it a lot. So yeah, just DM me and we can connect on that. And then y'all, well, let me get off here so y'all can, you know, enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'll probably get on in an hour or two or three or four. <laughs> When I go pick up Blair, because I want you all to see her. We like Kiwi. What up, Playa Playa? Hey, Big Simple. I was about to say Big Sean for some reason. Who the fuck is Big Sean? But, hey, Big Simple, how are you? Was Goody in a hoodie? A boogie? I can't believe I'm always here this early. Let me drink some of this water. Y'all, I'm going to be honest. I've been drinking water, but I haven't been finishing a gallon like the last week. I love Blair. She's too cute. And you can have Blair. She's too damn bad. She's sassy. She be looking at me like, girl, who the fuck are you? Bitch, your mother. That's who I am. That's who I am. Look at me like that again so I can pop you across your face. She really be playing with me, Lucia. She really do. Welcome, welcome, Nadia. Lucia, she really be playing with me like, Blair be having me like, ooh. <laughs> she really be playing with me. And then she started doing this thing where she give me the side eye like this. Like, if I'm doing something she don't like, she'll look at me like this and then go the other way and then walk away. 
like don't sass me Blair don't do it you can go see a crate at that two piece for sassing me she is something else something something else but how y'all doing my Doug is testing me too I was just like, bro, <laughs> someone came on the panel the other day and was like, I think they said they'll buy Blair from me or they wanted Blair. And after I thought about what I paid for her and how much money I just put in her, I was up to like $7,000. Just, you know, I sprinkled in a couple extras, a little bit of extra money. He's like, nah, you can keep her. <laughs> I was just like, yes, you can cash out me that money and I'll ship her in a box. <laughs> Oh, no she is something else and then she does this thing she does this thing like she doesn't do it while i'm on youtube too often so that's a good thing but if i'm on the phone every time i talk she'll bark to be smart oh she has something else y'all she has something else i'll be trying to you know be on the phone talking to a client or something like that and every word i say she'll bark so when I stop talking, she'll stop barking and she'll look at me. And when she see me about to say something else, she'll bark again. Oh, she rude. She is so rude. I can't stand the little girl. But I kind of miss her. I want to give her a bath. My baby was stinky. And all the mud. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Tell me if this is a good idea for the pet parents out there. Oh my gosh, it's already been 31 minutes. That's crazy. Thank you all for sticking in and chatting with me. Um, that's too cute. No, Nadia, it's not too cute. She's gonna make me two pieces. Like she made me realize, like, now I fight toddlers. Yep, I sure do. <laughs> I fight toddlers. You better get out, you better get out of my face and go to your father before I two piece you. I don't care if you two, you can take these two hands. So, like, don't don't get smart with me. Um, and she'd be real sassy. So I know for sure I fight toddlers at this point. But tell me if y'all think this is a good idea. So y'all remember when we went to the Doug Park last Sunday and Blair was, oh my gosh, all in the mud. Oh my gosh. She was like having a mud blast. So when I got home, I washed her up, but it looked like the mud, like the all the mud came off. So there was no mud residue, but it still looked dirty. So while I was at the Dollar Tree, I was going to get some loofahs. I think that's what they call the little scrubby, bubbly things that you put the the, the um the body wash on and get real fuzzy and you, like, scrub it. I think that's called loofahs. It may not be. I might be wrong. But I was going to get the little scrubby thingies and get one of those for it. But I realized I got some at home that I never used. Do y'all think that's a good idea to wash Blair with, like, the little loofah things? Like, she don't shed. It's, like, she sheds, I'm sure, but she don't shed, in my opinion, because I never find her hair. But do y'all think that's a good idea to, like, put our Doug shampoo on and, like, get her real? Or I think that's what I'm going to use on her. Try oatmeal shampoo and Dawn soap. Okay. I got you. I use hands and Doug brush. I didn't think about using her brush. And y'all know she got short hair right now. Okay. You know what, Lucia? The Dollar Tree. Girl, I'm always saying something about the Dollar Tree first because I'm cheap. I, I'm broke, bitch. I'm going to Dollar Tree for everything first. So I do got the Dawn at home. I don't have oatmeal shampoo. But the Dollar Tree have an oatmeal bath I was just looking at. Because it caught my eye like an oatmeal bath in Dollar Tree. I wonder if that, that quality is good. But I guess I can go back, grab that up for Blair real quick. And then as far as her brush... Nadia, do you have, like, I'm going to call it a fine hair type of brush or straight people that have fine hair or straight hair? Is that the type of brush you use or do you have that, that Dougie brush? I have, uh, I have short hair Dougs. Okay, cool. Their skin is so sensitive. Blair skin isn't seeming to be sensitive right now, so I'm great. I'm glad it's not. Dawn is, uh gentle for sea animals and oil so we use it you know what they did have that ad with the dawn soap something about the rubber duckies well maybe not the rubber duckies but the ducks that was in the oil something and they used dawn to get the dawn is good for oil it is do you have the hard um brush toy rat terriers i seen a Oh, Kelsey brother has a rat terrier, but I don't think he's a toy. He's a little small dog, 
but not like not I wouldn't say it was a toy version of it, but he has a rat terrier. Oh, that's nice. I always make fun of that it does look like his own a little skin, little skinny male. <laughs> little skinny face, big eyes. <laughs> but um the brushes that you use, Nadia. Now the Dollar Tree have these ones with metal bristles, bristles on it. What's up, Damien? Where you been at? Damien, I have a chihuahua and a mini men pen. Yeah, I'm a little ignorant when it comes to <laughs> animals. I know what a rat terrier look like because um, Kelsey brother has one, but I'm going to have to Google the men pen part. I make soap, so I use lemongrass soap on my babies. I did, every time I come through your life, you are making something. I just figured you're a jack of all trades. Like, I figured, like, you probably be baking some, making some here, making some there. So do you, do you make Doug shampoo or Doug soap, Nadia? Just curious, because I would definitely support that. Or even if you... Well, since you make it as natural, so I'm sure it could probably work on them either way. What you got going on, Damien? Damien. I'm kind of nervous to try that brush with the um the metal bristles, though. Like, I, it catch my eye every single time. And Blair do not let me, like, brush her at all. So that whole... Oh, you have a labradoodle, you have to brush them every night. Yeah, that's out the window. She don't get brushed ever unless I fight her to brush her. And I even brought that little, um, the little Dollar Tree um, brush that's it's like a glove. And you can like brush through them. And that somewhat works, but it comes off my hand easily. What the hell are we talking about? We talking about Doug, Damien. Miniature pincher. Yep, definitely going to have to... Uh, Google that one. It's like a human brush with soft bristles. Okay. That's the one I got for her. Then the one that I have, I have two different types. I think the one that I mainly use on Blair has like little wooden bristles. And then I have some from Monet. Oh my gosh. I didn't even show y'all that she freaking chewed up a wooden brush. She's so hurricane. No, they use on. No, they use my human products. Yeah, and because your products are natural, then I'm sure it's fine. Remember, dogs are close to humans with a lot of our products. True, they are. Nothing just here watching Coming to America too. It's out already, Damien. Yeah, I, I seen the um on Prime. I seen the banner for it, but I was just like, do that mean I gotta watch one to understand two? So yeah, I'm good. I'll pass on that. And so I'm in like a marathon mood then i'll watch one to then watch two <laughs> what's up troublemaker no you the troublemaker well who you calling a troublemaker you the troublemaker damien omg it's 11 51 y'all thank y'all for coming and talking to me because getting the 12 would have been hard oh i did so i was gonna sit here and make a flyer because after this month I'm probably going to try to find a part-time worker to work my cleaning biz so I can free up some time. So, probably, if I can. But I'm not going to pay a lot of money because the contracts are literally so easy that it's like, for real, for real, I should probably just keep doing it myself so I can keep pocketing the money. Yeah, it just came out today. Wait, you didn't watch one? No, I don't watch TV, Nadia. You know, it comes up a lot on 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 my lives because everyone wants to reference a movie that I didn't see, or they want to go down a. How didn't you see the these classics? Blah 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 blah. I never seen one. Now I remember some bits and some parts. Um, like uh, like the outfits. I remember. I know who plays in it. You know, this beautiful black lady and Eddie Murphy and Eddie Murphy and this tall black guy. But like, I know it's something about them coming to America and being rich. I'm sure I've seen parts of it, Nadia. I'm pretty sure I did. Nadia, you know damn well she don't watch TV. <laughs> that's not TV. That's a classic staple movie, OMG. And then, and then we always have this discussion where people be like, oh, they'll, like, say something about a movie, and then I'll be like, I don't watch TV, and then they be like, it's not TV, it's a movie. And in my mind, it plays on the TV, so T is all TV. <laughs> I just don't. 
you know i'm you know i'm getting there though guys i've been watching you know movies like a movie once a week you know a little bit i'm getting there i'll catch up eventually on the classics i don't want to watch titanic so y'all might have to expect another year or expect me to i just don't see me sitting down and watching a lot of movies like i just don't my men my meeting just ended i'm on my way it takes me 30 minutes my apologies no worries i will be there by two i don't watch tv either but that's from the 80s i'm sure i've seen parts of it because i know i know something about them being rich and coming to america like maybe my dad was watching it maybe my mom was watching it yeah y'all lord <laughs> like me and tv is just saying that mm -mm. typo what i miss prince you didn't miss anything i don't watch tv at all but staple movies like color purple harlem nights now harlem nights i don't know what harlem nights is i i can't think of what that is the color purple i know parts of it i've seen some parts of it you know the little hopscotch part i remember that the um the part with the the pretty lady in the bathtub singing or drinking or crying or she was on something in the bathtub i know whoopi goldberg was in it i know that that black man that's always seemed like he abusive in movies was in it i'm you know i've seen bits and parts of these like movies these classics nothing i seen not one part of titanic but like really knowing like the whole storyline and knowing the characters and what they play like yeah nah i don't mm -mm. No. Oh, you know who else was in the color purple? Oprah. Yep. She was in the color purple too. Mm hmm. And there was some other, you know, famous people in it. I just don't know them by name. Well, wait that minute. You don't watch TV, Nadia? How the hell you watch Power Within? LOL. That is a great point. Well, then again, Nadia probably say that's not TV, that's an on demand HBO fire stick prom show whichever one it is technically that's not tv either <laughs> they got five minutes before i go walking them five then there's no more i will be hoarse i won't be a whore i'm sorry y'all i was trying to rhyme five minutes i'm walking through those doors five minutes I'm cleaning like a whore. Five, then there's no more. Only got five minutes to go. Hey, Ryan, how are you? The only two. Oh, I missed something. That's an exception. That's life. <laughs> the only television I watch is old reruns of 2000 shows. Oh, really, Prince? What shows are those? Um, I just. Y'all know the worst part of watching TV? Trying to find something to watch. That's the absolute worst part. You gotta go through... Okay, so let me tell y'all this rat hole I ended up in. I call myself trying to watch some TV, right? By the way, I love Dollar Tree. Girl, me too. Be killing the hell out of Dollar Tree. I Dollar Tree everything first. <laughs> and then there's Target. Let me tell y'all, me, me trying to watch TV is me spending extremely too long trying to find something to watch. So the other day, I think I was trying to find Fifty Shades of Grey, right? I ended up reading every erotic movie that was offered. And I was trying to figure out, okay, well, since I can't watch Fifty Shades of Grey, what's the next best thing? I was just like, some of this shit is just weird at this point. It is just weird. Love me some Dollar Tree now. Ouch. Yeah, the hard part is definitely finding something to watch. In the first place, it's either 90s Martin and family members or one of the Proud family. One on one or Proud family. Yeah. As a kid, I can't really remember what I watched. I know, like, my best friend, she couldn't go to sleep without having a TV on. So she had a TV on, but I didn't watch it. It was just there. Half and Half was a good one to me. 
Really? Oh, half and half is nothing. Or was that one on one? I'm getting them confused now. Oh, on Netflix. She will have something on. Um, my cousins, they typically will have something on. Like I said, if I had something on as a kid, kid, it would be like Dexter in the Laboratory. Something on Cartoon Network. I don't think I ever turned my TV off Cartoon Network. I was on Netflix the other night, I think, um, before I canceled it. I didn't watch anything. Once again, reading all the bios of what the movies are about frustrates me. <laughs> then there's no more. All right, let me put some stuff on my hand, put these gloves on. Oh, two minutes. Oh. Thank y'all for coming and talking with me. Oh, let me turn this car on forward. I'm tripping, tripping. Oh, look at that. They're leaving out. Keep going. Oh, a black person works here. Hmm. Oh, I never thought. One of them with the dog creeps me out. The one with the dog was creepy to me. Yeah, I definitely read that completely wrong the first time around. I I loved it for some They made some type of noise on it, like something. I don't know. It was a creepy show. That's probably why I like horror movies more than anything. I mean, this lotion, all right. It'll do. I like the classics. Most of the stuff I watch, I bet when I was, when I had no mess, wrestling, etc. I like, I don't know what I like, y'all. I used to watch a lot of shows with my dad. Like, my dad and I would watch um, Buffy and the Vampire Slayer together. Not that I don't even think I was paying it no mind, honestly. We would watch Charm together. Definitely me, my dad, my granddad would watch Law and Order together. Um, There's so many different versions of Law and Order. I don't know which ones we would be watching. But even to this day, you know what my dad and my granddad doing right now? Watching Law and Order. <laughs> Law and Order, I mean. The house was in the middle of nowhere. What was the name of it? Oh, Curse and the Cowardly Dog. What's up, Daily? Courage and the Kelly Doug. What was her name on that March? Or was that somebody else? I used to like that show. I remember watching A and Eddie. Yeah, I think my as a kid, my TV was probably always on um, Cartoon Network. South Park. My dad used to let me watch South Park some nights. My favorite episode of South Park is just shut your fucking face, motherfucker. That's probably why I cuss so much. <laughs> Use it, da, na, 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 motherfucker. Na, na, da, na, da. And I think he kept farting. <laughs> but, yeah. And that was pretty much it. Oh, it's 12 one. I'm gonna give them a few more minutes. Two more minutes. Nah, I'm not. I'm about to go in there. I'm about to waste my time with these people. My sisters love Law and Order. I was scared of it. They definitely, if you if you watch it too much, you'll definitely be thinking it's a lot of crazy people out here. Wait, what? You like horror movies? That explains why Blair keeps running away from your crazy ass. Shut up, Damien. That is not true. Blair do not run away from me, per se. I mean, she definitely have her favorites, and I don't think I'm one of them. Like, she loves me, don't get me wrong, but because I'm the one to hand out the beatings around there, I'm probably not a favorite. <laughs> Love me some horror movies. You guys are so awesome for hanging in here and chatting with me today. If no one ever told you you were awesome, you are. You're so awesome, guys. Let me get in here and get this done. When I, when I come here, I think the part that I dread, sorry, my phone about to die. I think the part that I dread is, it's just so many rooms. I think I'm just lazy because it's probably not even that bad, but just so many rooms. 
But thank you all for coming through. I will probably be back on later today when I get Blair um, so that you all can see her, so that I can see her. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to ask if I can give her some Doug melatonin so that she's not bored out of her mind in her crate while she's healing. Um, so you all will probably see me later on today. Thank y'all and bye.